Hi, welcome everybody back to my channel. Today we're going to have a look at um, some, some interesting devices that have been used to monitor the 12 volt battery in the Addo 3. So as most people may be aware that um, there has been issues with the 12 volt battery. So um, yeah, so we're going to have a look at the, a Bluetooth adapter which, which will actually uh, monitor the battery for you. And we're going to look at some devices that you can use to actually um, um, charge the battery. If you're not a person who drives your car a lot and you want to make sure the battery is fully charged, we're going to look at a few little options to make sure that your battery's always charging, even though your your car might not be. I've got gas struts fitted on this this my car, and I've also got um, a frunk installed. So uh, this frunk's held in. With the with the boot, the bonnet arm, so it holds the front in, and then on the side, it's held in by the gas struts. So I'm just going to show you how long it takes to get the trunk out. Okay, so you could, if you wanted to, you can actually use the screws here to hold the trunk down as well, but I don't think it's really necessary. And if you, you have a look here, it's, it's really detailed, the cutout around all the parts and where it fits. So it's a very precise fit. Uh, so in order to get the frunk out, you just need to take the gas struts off. And these are quick release ones. Frunk is really light. Um, some of them are heavy <laughs> and there's a precise fit. So everyone, everyone thinks it takes a long time to get these frunks out, but that's, that's not the case at all. Um, this one's a really light, light lightly, um, well, it's not heavy, so it's really light and um, it's really well made and strong. So I did look at a, a, a quite a few different frunks. Um, some were quite heavy, some didn't fit very well, some slid around. Um, so this this one is this one is the best one I could I could find. So I'm going to be selling this one for two hundred ninety five dollars. Um, if anyone's interested, they can just leave me a message, and it's pick up in Sydney. You could probably do other states, but um, currently doing Sydney at the moment. And they'll be ready in the end of September 2023, if anyone wants to order one. And we've got the gas struts as well, if anyone's interested in those. Uh, same, not sure what the price will be for those. So we're just going to put the front back in now. So it's just the main Putting it in. Lining up these holes here. Pushing the strut on. Pushing that strut on. Uh, and there you can see it's sitting in. You can actually use other. If you want, you can put the plastic holes in the back if you want it to be more solid than that, but I don't, I don't think it's really necessary. And that's it. So that's, that's the trunk um, put back in the car. And it sits all the way down like it should, even without the, the bolts in. So there's no, nothing wrong there. And fairly solid. Well, it's still plastic, so it's not going to be super rigid but that's uh, that's it and and the struts just close the bonnet like normal so this is a this is a, a vehicle to load adapter just like you like you normally get with the addo but this is a 16 amp one so it will do um full 16 amps which is what the addo which is what the battery in the car can deliver 
and I thought it wouldn't be any good because it's got the universal uh, terminals, but it really grabs grabs the um, terminals of your uh, lead very tightly. So I'm pretty sure this will take the full 16 amps, no problems at all. Now the good thing about these vehicle load adapters is if ever your 12 volt battery goes flat or something, you just have to plug this in and the car will automatically start charging the 12 volt battery. So if you have a breakdown, this is what you need to do. Or if, you, if your 12 volt battery goes flat, this is what you need to do. So once that's plugged in, 12 volts will be going to your battery and you'll have a good chance of starting your car. If your 12 volt battery is completely stuffed and it won't take any charge, then that's not gonna help you out. But if the voltage in your 12 volt battery is low, this will actually start the charge cycle. So I think this is a bit of a lifesaver and it's just like having the um, jump start battery pack. You can also use that, but I find this is gonna be easier. So I've got both, so hopefully I don't even get in any trouble with my 12 volt battery. So the next part of the video is going to be having, having a look at the Bluetooth monitoring of the, of the battery and see exactly what's happening with our 12 volt batteries. Uh, and this is a, it'll monitor the past five days of what's occurred to the voltage and you'll see in the graph in a minute. The battery, so here's our 12 volt battery and over here, this is a, this is a Bluetooth um, sensor. So it just screws onto the battery terminal here. And the same for the 12 volt. So you see that little blue light flashing? It sends a signal to your phone with all, the, all your data from the battery and it draws 1.5 milliamps, which is, which is very low. So you know, that's definitely not gonna flatten your battery. Some people think it's gonna flatten your battery if you have one of those on. It's not like um, Tesla Century mode where it, where it will chew, chew your battery up in a couple of days. But yeah, this, this is probably, I think with that amount of draw, uh, yeah, I can't see it flattening your battery. So, all right. So the other part of that is the app. And these are about $20, $30 on, um, from your favorite online store. Or you could probably buy it from Super Cheap Auto or somewhere like that as well. So now let's go and have a look at the app and see what that's going to tell us. Okay, so we just um, installed the BM6 app on the phone. And here it is here. So we're going to open it. All right, so here's the app. And at the moment, it says our state of charge battery 88%. I have had mine down to 40%, which I wasn't very happy about. But it determined, but the car determines when it wants to charge your 12 volt battery and when you don't. Okay, so what features do we have here? Well, this is the battery monitoring. We can do a charge test. I'm not sure if that's, uh, not sure if that um, is suitable for electric cars. Um, shows the temperature 18 degrees. It shows the current um, voltage for the battery, which is 12.49, which is good. Um, it's pretty, this is another interesting one. It also has Find My Car. So I haven't tried it, but it actually, it can actually um, pinpoint GPS tracking of your car. So I have to actually test that one out, see if it actually works. Um, got some trip features here as well. Again, I haven't tried those out yet, but um, that'd be interesting to try out. And in the settings, you can you have all these options. So I have a, an alarm go off when my battery hits 43%. Um, you can have a daily power notification, abnormal cranking notification. Uh, that's a power alarm. You can have GPS tracking service, which I've got. You can actually export the data if you want to show um, if you think your battery's um, on the way out you can actually sh uh, get BYD to have a look at your the charging results and maybe they'll um, have a um, better understanding of what's going on with your battery if they see the figures all right so we're just going to go look at the graph so so here's the graph um, for the car, and we're going to look at the last three days. So 
So as you can see, this is a this this is voltage here. So it goes from nine volts up to fifteen volts, and this is equivalent of about one day and a half. Okay, so normally when the when the when it goes when the graph goes above thirteen volts, that means the battery is actually being charged. The battery gets charged when you're driving the car, or when you've got the vehicle to load adapter plug in plugged in. That's why it's important to um to have that vehicle to load adapter because if you need to charge your car, plug that in, your battery charges. Might save you, might save you a tow truck trip, or a couple of hours um waiting for a tow truck. Okay, so so what gradually happens? The the battery actually discharges quite fast in this car. So that's the so when you see the graph sloping down, that means the battery is actually discharging. Now, I thought that slopes a bit a bit too much, but because these batteries are small, they're going to discharge fast, and the only way to save them is the, the car topping up the battery. So once, so as you can see here, it gets down to about 12.4, and we drive the car. Now, we drive the car probably every day, twice a day, so we're probably not going to have issues with the battery draining but if you only drive the car every couple of if you only drive the car every few days this slope is going to hit 12.1 and the car's going to have to charge your battery within two or three days it'll have to charge your battery in the car so if that doesn't occur your battery is going to just go down until it goes flat and that sometimes has occurred with, with, the, with the 803 and other, other electric vehicles have the same issues so okay so when we're driving battery sits at around 13.7 and when we stop the car then it goes back below 13 volts and then it slowly goes down not slowly goes down but it goes down quite rapidly actually and if you start the car you'll you'll end up with uh so this this spike here where it drops to 12 volts that's the battery under load like when you in the old days with petrol car when you crank when you turn the starter uh, it has to turn the motor of the car so it's a huge um, energy required so the, so the voltage drops right down to 12 volts and you can see that happening here as well so that little line there it goes all the way down to 12 volts now I sh wouldn't think that there's enough load for a healthy battery to drop to 12 volts a bit concerning so yeah i'm not really sure how good these batteries are but um yeah so once the car started the charging starts and it goes straight up to 13 volts that's fine um now the car if you leave the car for a long time and the battery will get down to 12 without driving the car out or without charging the car charging also starts the the charge if you charge the main battery then your 12 volt battery will automatically get charged as well i believe so when this when this line gets down to 12.1 uh that's a signal for the main batteries to start start charging the car so even though you don't drive the car if the battery goes to 12.1 it should theoretically start charging the car and then you have no problems but if it doesn't start charging the car, then you've got problems. Um, so, yeah, again, here we drop down to below 12 volts, which I'm not very happy about because all that's happening is the lights turn on the car and it energizes the, the, the main battery. Um, might, uh, I think there's some relays that will um, uh, energize the, um, the, the, the large battery in the car. The lights turn on and all the all the tablet starts and just normal pc load um like a computer starting so that's why it drops to 12 volts so as you say yeah so with this you can actually plot what you can actually see what's going on with the 12 volt battery um i i check it every now and then make sure this line doesn't go too much below 12 volts so um yeah you can it's going to indicate whether you've got a problem with your battery with your 12 watt battery 
Now, for me, it's not a big issue because I live in a city and I can get a, I can, um, I can get to a BYD service center in an hour or two. <laughs> but if you live in the country and stuff, yeah, I definitely recommend you get one of these because, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be it's going to be an early indicator if if something's going to go wrong with your car with your twelve volt battery. So yeah, so that's that's the um, Bluetooth battery monitoring, and I think it's a very good tool, and I'm yeah I'm glad I glad I installed it. And what else do we have? Oh, you can do state of charge. It doesn't really tell you much, but yeah, gives you an idea of. So fifty percent of the time the battery is at full capacity, and then the rest of the time it's below full capacity. Mine doesn't drop below 60, which I'm happy about. I don't want to see it at 40. Okay, so I hope, hope this was an informative video. Um, and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. And I'll see you in the next video.